Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, wearing a very beautiful new blue beautiful t-shirt. I already received it yeah, last year at Bam Bam Beach, guys, uh, wearing it now for the first time. Now it fits me. I need to lose some more kilo. It will fit even better, guys. Um, today, of course, an amazing video with four amazing Bitcoin charts. One chart you haven't seen before, but is a must-see. Also a trading tip. Of course, also a travel tip, some live advice, and of course, talking about anything else that comes to my mind as the news, for example. But um, I'm not going to walk the forest all the time because the forest is running into the beach over there. So I'm going to walk into the forest, onto the beach, and you can enjoy this beautiful scenery while listening to the amazing content again. Give it already a thumbs up. Let's jump into the first part, the charts. Bam. The first chart guys, of course, the day chart, keeping track on that there or now, the higher high is beautifully there around 35,000 US dollar. Um, could we pull back in the future? Yes, of course, we can pull back all the way back to that orange line even, 28,000. But at the moment, we are very bullish. And we can see that that green line is about to cross the red line. I've been telling you already for a couple of days, it could be a golden cross and a golden cross is very bullish and will probably lead to another pump in Bitcoin. But you can see that there was a massive run of 10k in a week so for people that don't expect a, pull, a pullback okay sorry but normally when you have a run of 10k dollars in a week a small pullback is not too bad it's very healthy for the market let's jump into some very interesting charts now this is the first chart guys founded on look into bitcoin this is a bitcoin investor tool a two-year uh, moving average multiplier beautiful chart on this chart, you can see the green line and the red line. Now, below the green line, that's the bear market. Around that red line, that's the top of the bull market. When we are below that green line, that's a beautiful moment to buy into Bitcoin. That's dollar cost averaging around the bear market bottom. The moment we cross that green line, you should already be in Bitcoin. If you're not in Bitcoin yet, it's still not bad because you can still buy around that green line because you can see the upward potential all the way to the red line which is above 100k at the moment if you zoom in at the moment you can see that we are at the moment we are crossing that green line that's the first candle above the two-year moving average so that's a very positive moment for bitcoin because if you look back to the left every time when that happened we had a beautiful run in bitcoin even in the in-between run in 2019 from 3k to 14k we crossed that we came back below it because of the COVID crash and then we got above it again and that was the start of that huge run all the way up to 70k look into 2016 the moment we came above that line we went all the way up bam to the 20k level we were around 800 dollar at that time and look how 2015 16 17 now looks like 2022 23 24 it's almost a copy a very long bear market below that two-year moving average line but we are crossing above it at the moment very bullish there is a lot of upward potential so not too late to buy bitcoin today and of course if you buy buy on buy bit next chart this chart is showing you the bollinger band on the monthly time frame whenever that bollinger band becomes very tight when it contracts that is the moment that we are about to leave that huge bear market period into this huge bull market period. Check this chart. Every time when you see this yellow circle, that's when we have a very tight Bollinger Band. And after that, bam, we explode in price. 2016, 17, very tight Bollinger Band. Bam, explosive move. Then again in 2021, very tight Bollinger Band. Bam, explosive move. And now again, I think it's the tightest Bollinger Band ever if you compare it to the other periods and we will see another explosive move. Very interesting chart. Pause the video if you wanna do a little bit more research yourself. Then we have this chart, also indicating to you how important this move of the last week was, this 10K move. Why was that so important? There's two horizontal lines, a line of support and a line of resistance. And the line of resistance is a line that was of importance for over two and a half years. Look how many candles touched the top line. And we couldn't break that line. It was support first. You can look to the left 
um, in the bull market period, that line was a support line. Then it became a resistance line that we were not able to break. And that candle now, that monthly candle, is breaking that line. It is very bullish. If we can stay above this line at the end of the month, create a new candle above that line, and then it go up a little bit higher again, and maybe use that line again as a test, as support, that is a very bullish move in Bitcoin. That's why everybody is so euphoric. It's a very bullish move. We have been in a very long bear market, sideways market. It became very boring and we wanted action. Now we have action. Now we need to act by Bitcoin, guys. Don't skip this bull market. That was the last chart for today. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Give the charts a thumbs up for me now. Uh, yes, YouTube loves it when you give thumbs ups or when you leave a comment. So you can also already leave a comment. In Bitcoin, always zoom out, guys. Look at the bigger picture. Look at how these four-year cycles are playing out every time again and again and again. I am not like a miracle that can predict the markets. I'm just analyzing what the bear market cycle and the bull market cycle has done for the last three times that I was in it. I've been in this industry since 2013. This is now my fourth huge bull cycle. I know how to time the market. Yes, it sounds very arrogant, but I know how to time the market. That's why I've been telling you we will not go lower than 16K. That was the bottom. You should have been buying that bottom. And now you should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin around that 30K level. Because yes, we will go higher. We will go and create a new all-time high above 70K, guys. That's still doubling or maybe even tripling your money from this moment. Don't wait for Bitcoin to crash back to 20K. It won't. Maybe 30K or 28K or 29K. These areas I can still believe because I believe we will go into the massive bull run from the moment of the halving in April 2024, which will take another couple of months. And yes, we have Christmas and everything in between. So people will have some free time to trade. So the liquidity will, of course, go up in my honest opinion. So be prepared to just dollar cost average into Bitcoin. Let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, might sound very funny coming out of my mouth, but when it comes to investing or trading, only invest that amount of capital that you can afford to lose. And I'm saying afford, I'm not saying prepared. Because we as a family, we were prepared to lose everything we invested. That's why we took that big step. We could have never afforded to lose everything we invested because of course then we also need to start from scratch again with zero so the all-in game was a very risky game but we had so much trust in bitcoin that we were prepared to invest everything we had even if we couldn't afford that the trust for us was too big to not do it but that's not the safest strategy the safest strategy when it comes to investing and trading is always only invest that capital that you can afford to lose. If you lose it, you need to be able to continue life. And if you want to do it risky way like us, then do it with great timing. The timing is around the bear market, not in the bull market. You should have sold your house already now, be dollar cost averaging into the price now, and then run that massive bull run all the way up to 2025. If you didn't do it this bull market, the all in step, you can still do it the next one. But then you need to wait to 2026, 7 for the next bear market bottom to go all in, guys. At this moment, it's just dollar cost averaging and only investing that capital that you can afford to lose. That was a trading tip for today. And by now, guys, we reached the beach. So yes, you will have a little bit more sound of the waves or Thai boats coming by. Look, there are two big Thai boats. I'm saying big. But well, that's not like really big. It's a fisherman, guys. They're going out now. Fish. For some squids. For some crabs. For some fish. Early morning Thailand. Beautiful, quiet beach, guys. The travel tip for today, guys. Uh, sounds very simple, but still, it's not that easy for most of people. Uh, but the thing that you need to do is do not plan too much. That was a big wave. Do not plan too much. What I learned of the last seven years of traveling as a family is that whatever you plan, the plan always changes the moment you plan to do it. So I can plan to do something tomorrow or next week or the week after, 
but there will always be things that will change or disrupt your plans. So the planning ahead is useless in my honest opinion. You should be planning today. What are you going to do today? Live that moment of today. I'm going to go to the beach, do my walk and talk about Bitcoin blockchain in my life. What is your plan for today? Don't plan too much when you're traveling because you will miss out of all the fun. Just go with the flow. The flow is the most important thing in life. If you let go of the flow and you swim against the stream, it won't be a happy, nice life. It, it will be a constant struggle against everything that you do. Go with the flow. Swim with the stream. Don't plan too much. Let life happen to you. That is the most beautiful life you can live. That was a travel tip for today. There is no huge news for today, guys, but I saw a beautiful article again about the BlackRock Spot ETF. Uh, that article was stating that yesterday, uh, this, the ticker of the iShares BlackRock Spot ETF disappeared for a certain moment on the website where it was listed. It took like two, three hours, and then it came back again. It came back with a new letter, the N instead of the Y, which means that you cannot trade it yet. But it also indicates to me that there is a moment that you will be able to trade it. So for me, it is almost 100% sure that the spot ETF in Bitcoin will be approved. Now, there was a question yesterday by one of the followers, Diddy, what is the spot ETF? Because I've been talking about that spot ETF now for uh, a couple of videos, but some people still don't understand what it is. A spot ETF makes it possible for financial institutions, financial investors, um, all those people now to sell Bitcoin to their clients. But when they sell Bitcoin to their clients, they need to be backed up buy real bitcoins so it's not paper trading like futures it's real bitcoins that they need to own to be able to sell it to their clients and blackrock is one of the biggest investment companies of the world that 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 manages a lot of capital of all the rich people all over the world so just to give a very simple example when a very rich person not like me but really rich person wants to invest in certain assets it doesn't have time to do that himself. So what does that person do? It says to this huge investment company, BlackRock, or any other financial advisor, here you have a million dollar, just invest it to me. I want to make like 10% a year. And then BlackRock or any other investment company says, okay, we will buy a little bit Tesla. We will buy a little bit Google. Uh, we will buy a little bit gold. And yes, now we can, and we are able to buy also a little bit Bitcoin. So there is a huge shift. Till now, it was only you, me, and some other people that could buy Bitcoin. But for example, in the Netherlands, when I grew up, I bought a house and I needed a mortgage. And that mortgage was an investment mortgage. So I didn't need to pay interest, 0% interest, but I did need to invest in this fund, Purple Mix Fund, they, they called it. And the Purple Mix Fund guaranteed me that in 30 years, I would have made so much profit that I could pay back the whole mortgage. Now, at that moment, that mix fund could only exist out of stocks and maybe some other stuff, but not Bitcoin. Now, that purple mix fund from the banks, from those investment advisors, can also include Bitcoin when Bitcoin is listed as a spot ETF. So this means that there's a shitload of capital worldwide of a lot of rich people that just hand over their capital to investment advisors or companies or can flow into Bitcoin. And they are not going to swim against the stream, they are going to swim with the stream. Because they want to protect their capital and they want to become richer. So they will trust their financial advisors on their investments. And those financial advisors are now allowed to include Bitcoin in that portfolio. So that is what a spot EDF will do for the world. Now, hope that was clear. Let's jump into the next part. And if I need to sum up everything I talked about today's video, guys, then it comes into this beautiful life code, life lessons, whatever you call it. Life is not a problem that needs to be solved. It is a reality that needs to be experienced. You need to experience life. And you will experience life if you go with the flow. If you swim against the flow, if you swim against the stream, it will feel as if life is a problem that you need to solve. Life shouldn't be about solving problems. 
life should be about experience the reality and that is the biggest lesson that people need to learn and it's not easy it's not simple because most people always live in fear because they don't have enough capital or they don't have enough money and that is why they are forced into running the hamster wheel to do a certain amount of work to earn a little bit capital to be able to buy back a little bit freedom and then I agree with you that yes capital will make it a little bit more easy but during the last seven years of travel I have met a lot of people that don't have the capital that I have and they were pretty happy as well and that's because they don't see life as solving a problem they see life as experiencing the reality and that reality can come in different forms it can come in a beautiful form it can come in a hard form but you're here to experience that reality to stop running at hamster wheel to fill the pockets of your boss of the Dutch state or any other state that you're living in or the tax companies you're filling their pockets you're not filling your pockets because the inflation will make sure that you don't have shit left and that will force you into running even more the hamster wheel and will indeed lead to not experiencing life but to feel as if life is a problem to solve it shouldn't be like that I should be the reality that you experience every day that is why I always say zoom into life enjoy every little second of the day experience the reality very important life lessons guys which leads to the last part of the video guys the last part is answering a question of one of the uh, followers I think this was a question by Virginia yes a woman because there is no woman but in the end now I will answer a woman's question at the end Virginia was asking Didi do you think in the future that we will still be able to buy and sell our bitcoins if we now sell them at the bull market top so if you mean by selling at the bull market top um, selling it for euros or dollars and by that into your bank account then I think it will become very difficult to come back into the industry in a non-KYC, non-regulated way. I do think there will always be the possibility, but it will be fully regulated, fully KYC, so they exactly know how many Bitcoins you have and they exactly know how many tax you need to pay the next time when you cash out. So if you're talking about cashing out into US dollar stable coins, USDT, USDC, or maybe one of the future stable coins built on the Bitcoin blockchain because of Taproot, assets that is being created now, then you're not exiting the crypto market. You're staying in the crypto market, but you're hedging your capital in a stable coin that is patched to the dollar, which means you will always be able to quickly buy back your Bitcoins because you don't need the approval of a third party because even USDT and USDC or DAI, they are kind of decentralized forms of money which makes it able for you that if you keep it in your wallet or on your exchange to quickly buy back bitcoins you don't need to send funds from your bank to an exchange and then buy bitcoin because that path sending your funds from a bank to the exchange that will be highly regulated and kyc because they want to know how many bitcoins you have so they can tax you for those bitcoins that's how simple it works that's the reason why i'm never cashing out to a banks anymore I will keep all the capital in uh, Bitcoin and Virginia and Virginia don't be distracted now because of this guy running there naked body now Virginia is distracted yesterday the, the guys were distracted now Virginia is distracted <laughs> so Virginia I never cash out to banks because I don't want to have that issue and um, that they will freeze my money uh, or not allow me to buy back Bitcoin again when I want so the solution is you need to grow trust in the crypto industry and believe that exchanges like for example Bybit or Binance or Crypto.com that they are even more trustable than the banking system. The moment you start to trust like for example Coinbase or Kraken or Bybit or Binance more than your bank account then the solution is there. You don't need to cash out. I wouldn't do Coinbase or one of the exchanges that is going to send all your data um, in, into uh, the tax company or the government, uh, of course, to, to, to show, hey, he's making money here. I will use other exchanges like Bybit. For me, Bybit is the best exchange out there. It still has privacy. So now in the end of the video, you had some horses. Now, 
if you want to sign up to buy it, then use the links down below my video, guys. The links are all there. Uh, at the moment, if you do it, you can even do a lucky draw where you can win an iPhone 15. Um, you can claim up to 30,000 US dollar in bonuses. All kinds of advantages if you use the link down below this video, guys. And by that, that's the end of the video, guys. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the horses always eating me? What do you think about my new t-shirt? And what do you think about everything else? Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Oh yeah, by now, my Instagram is still not bad, but I'm trying to solve that issue. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again.